future is closer than we think. Using digital technologies, we are implementing futuristic solutions to make quantum improvements across all our businesses, resulting in smart engineering, smart manufacturing, smart project management, smart infrastructure. Our proven global expertise in infotech, as well as technology services, enables us to solve complex business problems at the convergence of the physical and digital worlds, both internally and for major clients across the globe, including a large number of Fortune 500 companies. Disruptive technologies, like the Internet of Things, are changing the way we live and work. We are leveraging our rich engineering heritage with these new technologies to offer businesses worldwide services that enhance efficiency and productivity. By exploiting analytics for innovation, we are transforming the way these industries operate. Cities are the beating heart of the world's economy. Their speed and scale of expansion presents a choice. Mega city turmoil or an inviting urban environment. A smart city. A smart city involves the application of information-based systems for better governance and services. With expertise in both infrastructure and new age technologies, L&T has the edge in implementing India's mission to make a hundred cities resident friendly and sustainable. Every day we help light up hundreds of villages and power businesses and industry. We provide a complete range of solutions for power plants from concept to commissioning. Our heavy engineering facilities are among the largest and best equipped in the world. They fabricate complex large size equipment for core industries and provide critical equipment for India's nuclear power plants. We are the only company with the capacity to build an entire nuclear power plant on its own. Nuclear fusion has the potential to replace every other source of energy. Larsen and Tubro is collaborating on a global project to build the world's first thermonuclear reactor in southern France. A potential step towards an abundance of energy that could power the planet for millions of years. Till such time alternative energy sources reach full maturity, hydrocarbons remain the principal source of the world's energy supply. Our presence spans the entire hydrocarbon value chain. From exploration, to refining, to erecting complete plants. Through products derived from hydrocarbons, we touch your life every day. Myriad other ways, we are a recurring presence in your life, day after day. Moving you through airports built by us, over bridges, roads and intersections that we have constructed, through state-of-the-art metros that we have built, and as you arrive at your destination, an array of properties await you, built by us to the highest standards. Whether it is the tallest, longest, largest, we at l &T have built it. We apply technology to man's most precious resource, water. 
Our ability to build a world-class water infrastructure covers all aspects of treatment and conservation, including desalination. Strength is a prerequisite for peace. It has been a mission with us to secure your way of life by helping strengthen the country's defenses. Through intensive investment on research, we developed a system of systems capability, enabling us to build complete weapons platforms, including India's first nuclear submarine, a long-held dream. The Indian Navy looks to us for an entire range of weapon systems. And the land forces for diverse advanced weaponry. Given the trust built over decades of proven performance, we are well positioned to be the leaders in India's defense expansion. We have played our part in India's mission to the moon and its thrust to orbit Mars. For decades, we have made critical aerospace components for the country's space program. Through our technology leadership, we now have the capability to build complete launch systems to place satellites into orbit, opening up limitless possibilities for the future. Technology is pushing from every direction. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the resolute. It belongs to those who strive, who seek and do not yield. The future belongs to the brave. Mr. Bernard, are you there, Dr. Bernard? I am with you. I am with you. I am in France with you. Hi, Doc. How are you? All well with you? Very well. I am safe. So, good morning and good afternoon to all of you. Greetings of the day to all of you, depending on whichever time zone you are in. It is our honor and privilege to welcome you all, all the dignitaries, my seniors, colleagues, media personnel, and all the participants, Pan-India and across the globe, who have joined the ceremony to flag off the last section, the top lid of ETER cryostat. In line with the physical distancing norms and travel restrictions, we have only a handful of people present here in person. However, we have uh, we are glad to tell you that through live streaming, we are reaching out to all our stakeholders. This is a project of global collaboration. Together, I think, we are making history and writing future together at the same time. Safety is of utmost importance, so we will start the program with safety instructions. We are seated in MFS 4. The emergency exit point is right behind you from where you all entered. Uh, enough care has been taken to ensure no emergency takes place, but in case it happens, kindly stay calm and exit from the emergency exit behind you. Ne nearest assembly point is gate number one from where you enter. Our employees will guide you to the same. Please use designated walkways while in this shop. This is a no smoking and no tobacco facility. COVID-19 precautions are taken. Please maintain safe distance, ensure wearing of masks, and use of sanitizers. 
there is an emergency siren pattern showing on your screen which i hope you have observed i want to bring to your notice that at 12:30 and 12:45 our regular sirens will also uh, play out so kindly do not panic if siren plays out at that point of time in case of any assistance please do not hesitate to ask any of our lnt staff thank you very much for paying attention to safety instructions well uh, this is a momentous occasion for us we at lnt take pride to declare completion of the factory scope of work for the eater cryostat by completing the manufacturing of 13 numbers stop lid sectors including the central cover assembly as we come here to celebrate i invite shri av parak executive vice president and ic head heavy engineering to please welcome all of you here as well as across welcome sir. Good afternoon, Kencho. Very well, very well. Fusion powers reaction on the sun. Fusion of atoms release four million times energy than the normal chemical reaction, like burning of coal, gas, and oil, and that too without release of carbon dioxide. Scientists claim. this to be our future for greener earth we at lnt heavy engineering are very happy to contribute for this green effort it is indeed our pleasure to welcome a whole range of galaxy of vips to celebrate this okay momentous occasion of cryostat top lid flag off we have right now connected dr v k saraswat member niti ayog and former director general trdo as our chief guest dr bernard bigo dg eater organization as guest of honor dr k n vyas chairman atomic energy commission Dr Anil K Kakodkar chairman Rajiv Gandhi Science and Technology Commission and former chairman AC Shri SK Sharma chairman and managing director NPCL Mrs Ruby Srivastav director finance NPCL Shri SK Shri AK Balasubramanyam director technical NPCL Shri G Nageshwar Rao chairman atomic energy regulatory board Dr Ujwal Barua project director eater india who is present here in person dr am naik lnt group chairman who must be very happy that this marvel of engineering is manufactured in hajira manufacturing complex which is so close and dear to his heart i am sure today we have fulfilled part of his dream sri sn subramanyam lnt ceo and managing director also must be very happy with extensive application of digital tools in factory environment sri adil jainul bhai chairman heavy engineering and independent director lnt board lnt whole time directors and member of board sri sn roy sri mv satish sri jd patil heavy engineering board members sri ashok purva and sri ashok chavan Sri Y S Trivedi, Chairman LNT Special Steel and Heavy Forging and Advisor to Heavy Engineering, he is also present here in person. My entire Heavy Engineering Management Team, ane mara LTKU Union na sau kamgar bhai. Dear sirs and madam, we welcome you all for this grand virtual flag off ceremony. Finally, I welcome my nuclear team. earlier led by ganesh ayer and now by pravin bhat words of praise will not do full justice to your commendable enormous dedicated effort and passion to make this day a reality and proud contribution to make in india thank you very much garvi gujarat jai atmanirbhar bharat thank you
Thank you very much, sir, for inviting all the dignitaries. I think it's a glittering galaxy that we have here um, present and witnessing this uh, event. Um, today, we are also honored to have with us, like sir mentioned, Sri UK Barua in person. Let me take a moment to introduce him before he comes forward and introduces the program as well as the uh, equipment to us. He holds a master's degree in electrical engineering from IIT Madras. He joined the institute in 1995 as an engineer in the neutral beam injection group. He was leading the NBI group and Eater India power supply group. He is currently project director of the Indian domestic agency Eater India, Institute of Plasma Research, Gandhinagar, for Indian contributions to Eater. May I now request you, sir, to say a few words on this occasion. Namaste. On behalf of our team, that is the Christed team, comprising of people from LNT, from ITER India, and from the ITER organization. This is my honor to welcome you to this first year ceremony. Dr. Saraswat, Chairman Asya, Dr. Grover, Chairman Nair, Nayak Chak, Subramaniam Sahib and Director Big. This is our honor that the whole Indian de delegation of the ITER Council also with us and some of the import board members. I all welcome you and thank you for very much for being with us today. I would also like to mention name of three young musketeers who have been uh, at the forefront of delivery of the ITER crash there, Mr. Giris, he is from ITER India, Mr. Anil from ITER organization, and Mr. Siraj from LNT. These young people, they led the whole effort of building the crash there from all angles. We had the disruption uh, of few months because crisis. Otherwise, this function could have been uh, happening in April, mid of April itself. But nonetheless, you have seen the result of our, our voice, and they have done all the things ready as soon as the crisis lockdown is over, and we are ready to transport the equipment from here to ITAR organization. This is not the end of the building of the crash. This is, I am happy to say that only the beginning of the first sector of the crash that manufacturing. It was a long eight years till now. We will have another four years to go because during the time we will build the crash that at either site where the base section has already been placed in this place and all the ether tokoma will be assembled inside the crash that before the final top lift that you will start tagging off from here today, will be assembled at the end. And this all, this journey, we started with partnership with LNT, which started some eight years ago in 2012, with the blessings of the Itar India Empowered Board. And subsequently, you can imagine that the building this step is not an easy, easy affair. And uh, there are a lot of uh, engineering challenges. Our team working together. And this is a fine example of, I would say, intelligent uh, management and the uh, enduring engineering of the people who are at the software. I can see some of them. I welcome them to. Uh, uh, this is their effort, that is which we are looking at it today. And finally, I would say, organizing this. A whole business of manufacturing prior step. The LNT stop management get, get enormous support led by perhaps up. Otherwise, this could not have been happening. So is the ITAR organization who made all that arrangement to ensure that, that what they need, they get from the organization here between ITAR India and LNT and, and made to the order 
according to their, their specification. I also thank the government of India, that's through the Department of Atomic Energy, who helped us all time this so that this could happen in today. Now we will have a short video clip what exactly is going to be transported uh, from the factory today. I would say this what step before we start the next part of the event. Thank you. This May, the ITER project marked a long-awaited milestone when the base section of the ITER cryostat was lifted into its final assembly position inside the tokamak pit. This spectacular move was the culmination of a technological and human adventure that began in August 2012 when ITER awarded the cryostat manufacturing contract to the world-renowned Larsen and Tubro of India. The 3,800-ton cryostat will surround the ITER vacuum vessel and the superconducting magnets, essentially insulating them like a giant thermos. Ranging from 50 to 250 millimeters thick, its cylindrical walls will be 30 meters in diameter and 30 meters in height, making the ITER cryostat the largest fully welded vacuum vessel ever made from stainless steel. More than 200 penetrations, some as large as 4 meters in size, will provide access to the vacuum vessel for cooling systems, magnet feeders, auxiliary heating, diagnostics, component replacement, and maintenance, all while large bellows allow for thermal contraction and expansion of the structure. Manufacturing of the individual segments of each cryostat section, 54 in total, has been completed at Larsen and Tubro's Hazira facility in India, and now nearly all have been delivered to the ITER worksite in France thanks to a partnership with global logistics provider Daher. In 2015, the first cryostat components were delivered on site to ITER India's cryostat workshop, and a year later the assembly and welding phase began with operators from another prestigious company, Mann Energy Solutions of Germany. Since then, thousands of visitors have come to witness the making of this unique industrial component, and soon the upper and lower cylinders of the cryostat will join the base in the tokamak pit, followed by the lid to seal it off. Today, as we flag off for delivery the final components of the lid, ITER celebrates the completion of cryostat manufacturing and turns to finish the challenge of assembly. This is what ITER's international collaboration is all about. Hard-working people around the world working as one ITER to achieve an ambitious and difficult task for the benefit of all humankind.
I think it is truly marvelous. As LNT, we are proud to be associated with this prestigious project and value the opportunity to contribute to this futuristic work. Let's now hear from Sri SN Subramanian, CEO and MD LNT, about his views on this occasion. Over to SNSR's office, please. Yeah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Apart from an university, I never been to a function where there are so many prominent uh, and uh, more importantly doctorates uh, being available. Um, I thought I'd make it easy by going straight into what I need to talk, but it's important to mention the names of so many of these doctorates being available out here. Niti Ayog, uh, member, Dr. Saraswat, Director General Viter, Dr. Bernard Biget. I think he's behind this project like nothing one has ever seen. And, and whatever you see today is due to his terrific effort. Chairman Atomic Energy Commission, Dr. Vyas, Dr. Kakotkar, former Chairman Atomic Energy Commission, uh, Mr. Sharma of NPCL, Mrs. Ruby Srivasta of uh, Director of Finance, NPCL, Mr. Nageshwar Rao, AERB, Mr. Ujwal Rao, writer, and of course, uh, the absolutely uh, gentleman who started the workshops in Hazira and whatever all of you saw there and much more, Dr. M. Naik, our group chairman, and uh, the person who has made all of us and all the other distinguished guests, including Adil Bai, SNR, MVS and JDP. At the outset, I congratulate Dr. Bigot, Dr. Ujwal Barua and the teamwork of ITER organization France, ITER India and of course our LNT people at Hazira and other, 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 and other places and, and our other business partners for accomplishing a very major milestone for the successful completion of the top lead assembly. We thank ITER India for providing the opportunity to contribute towards a futuristic sustainable energy solution for the benefit of humankind. This is a very proud moment for Lassen and Tubro as it has completed another milestone in the development of the world's largest stainless steel high vacuum pressure chamber. LNT has always successfully demonstrated in parts its core strength in the first of its kind new technology development. LNT is probably the only EPC company in the world with end-to-end -end solution capability of in-house construction, manufacturing and engineering as well as financial services. Over the last six decades, LMT has contributed significantly to India's all 22 nuclear reactors, indig indigenous PHWR as well as PFBR and the Russian VVER technology. LMT will play an important role in Government of India's future expansion plans, be it LWR reactors based on EDF EPR 1600 or the Westinghouse AP-1000 technologies, if at all it comes to India, for our own fast breeder reactor program. LNT significantly contributed to India's space programs, the Moon mission, the Mars mission, PSLV, GSNV, and the Gaganayan mission, to name a few. LNT has collaborated with DRDO, Baba Atomic Research Center, IGCAR, and Institute of Plasma Research for the research and development activities, and we continue to play a big role therein. LNT has to its credit significant contributions to India's strategic programs and we will also continue to do that. For ITER program, LNT's contribution includes Cryostat, the world's largest stainless steel vacuum vessel, inner wall shielding IWS, port plugs and cooling water line. Our technology services team is the engineering service provider to the ITER organization. We build workshops at Cadarache, France, meeting French regulations, which is being used for the integration of the Cryostat sections. Highlights of Cryostat fabrication, key challenges were the manufacture of the 3850 metric ton stainless steel vessel of nearly 29 meter diameter in 50 sectors at our state of the art facility at Hazira, transported to France, assembled it into four sections of the ITER site workshop and finally integrating into the reactor pit to stringent tolerances and standards. We have used innovative methods digital manufacturing techniques to ensure uninterrupted supply of high quality, high precision assemblies to ITER. This will further pave a way for the installation of cryostat in the tokamak pit at France and eventually lead to the demonstration of large scale feasibility of fusion power at one of the world's largest research program. On 23rd July 19, we handed over two sections, lower cylinder and base section, 
and in March 2020, the upper cylinder is also handed over to the ITER organization. Today, we're delivering the last assembly, that is the top lid sec sectors, which will be handed over to the ITER organization by September 21st, after completing the integration in the ITER shop in France. LNT continues to create global benchmarks, be it the heaviest refinery reactor, the tallest statue, the Statue of Unity, the longest metro rail network, and Kronerstadt is the latest addition to these incredible achievements. LNT believes in global, global partnerships. We closely work with many European companies, MAN, CNIM, APVE, SPY, and for the ITER program. LNT is looking towards more participation in the ITER program, where a highly skilled workforce can contribute further towards successful completion of the world's biggest research program in clean energy. In the end, I'd like to conclude that Larsen & Tubro, with its large manufacturing ability and capacity and its facilities at Hazira, the nuclear culture, talent pool, and with a zeal to participate in technology extensive first of its current projects, will be the most preferred one-stop solution for all mega projects. We take pride in our motto, it's all about imagineering and strongly support Government of India's Make in India initiative and the Atman Nirbar Bharat Abhiyan program. Wish all the best for the future success of ITER project. Good luck, all the very best. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I think it's really all about imagineering and we are really proud to be part of Make in India and so many walks of life. Our next speaker is another one who would throw a light on this. At this point, I would like to bring Sri K. N. Vyas. Let me start by introducing him briefly. Sri K. N. Vyas is Chairman Atomic Energy Commission. He is a mechanical engineer graduate from MS University. After completion of training in 22nd batch of BARC training school in 79, he joined Fuel Design and Development Section of Reactor Engineering Division of BARC. Srivyas, as an engineer, has played a key role for completion of strategic projects and has also participated in design and analysis of the test blanket module planned to be installed in ITER France. He is currently holding responsibility as Chairman Atomic Energy Commission. During his career, Sri K. N. Vyas has been conferred with many awards, which include Indian Nuclear Society Outstanding Service Award 2011, Homi Baba Science and Technology Award 2006, DAE Awards in the years 2007, 8, 12, and 13. Thank you, sir, for agreeing to join this ceremony through a digital mode. We would like to hear your views on this occasion. Over to you, Shri K. N. Vyas. Thank you very much. Respected uh, dignitaries, Dr. V. K. Saraswat, member Niti Ayog, and the chief guest of today's function, Dr. Bigo. Director General Eater and today's guest of honor, Dr. Kakodkar, Member Atomic Energy Commission and the person who has played a key role in India becoming a member country in Eater. Dr. R.B. Grover, Member Atomic Energy Commission and who is even today guiding our department in Eater related activities. Dr. A.M. Nayak, Chairman Emeritus Larson and Tuburo, Mr. S.N. Subramaniam, CMD, LNT and other colleagues from LNT. My colleagues from department, Mr. Nageshwar Rao, Chairman AERB, Mr. S.K. Sharma, CMD NPCIL, Dr. Shashan Chaturvedi, Director IPR, Dr. Ajual Barua, Project Director, ITER India, colleagues participating from around the world and the Cryostat team, please accept my greetings. I will not say good morning or good afternoon because we are all in different time zones. Uh, this cryostate flag of event today is held under extraordinary circumstances as you all know and restricted due to the current pandemic. Nonetheless, we must celebrate the great achievement of the cryostate team from Larson and Tubro, ITER India and ITER organization. The hard work of several years is moving towards its logical end and in some time from now, the last segments of cryostate top lid will be sent off towards its journey to ITER site for its integration with the rest of the system. I had viewed uh, the photographs when earlier segments were being formally received at ITER site and Dr. Bigo was explaining the construction activities to Dr. Kakodkar. I also saw, saw the photographs of cryostate based section being laid into the ITER tokomak pit last month. I recall that about 25 years back I was made responsible for uh, design and fabrication of a stainless steel component. 
during that time i was advised by one of my senior colleagues that this is relatively a thick component for such a component which is made up of stainless steel among other i should take care of two significant aspects one i should ensure that distortion after welding is low and sensitization in the weld region should be controlled i must reveal Uh, the component which i was designing had a diameter of about just 1 meter and thickness of about 40 mm now you can imagine the comparison with the cryostat so today if i compare my tiny work to that for cryostat or by any other standards as well the work which iter cryostat team has completed is phenomenal the credit goes to the entire team consisting of members from iter organization iter india experts from npcl and icar and last but the most important members of larsen and tubro who have planned the finer details and executed the work related to fabrication i congratulate the team members for the well coordinated effort made by the entire team i commend the welders and technicians the shop engineers designers managers and qa persons from larsen and tubro i also congratulate both mr nayak and mr subramaniam the two lnt dignitaries and acknowledge that this is a proud moment not just for lnt but for department of automatic energy and the whole nation we have observed uh, iter being in the headlines of scientific reporting in this recent times in spite of the pandemic and lockdown iter has continued work at site and installed the cryostat base section in its final position several other iter items like polyadel field coils vacuum vessel segment are also featuring in headlines i am sure dr bigo that with your organizational skill and ability to coordinate among member nations the project will rapidly move towards the milestone of first plasma the government of india has accorded high importance to the iter project among all scientific research projects it is a special place among other mega science projects of our department we all understand that success of iter is vital for future of fusion research not only for india but for mankind as its scientific outcome will chart the path out for a new source of energy which is environmentally benign and potentially abundant i once again compliment the cryostat team for achieving the feat and offering your creation to be shipped to iter we also look forward to continued participation in the project to help successful completion of the remaining works on cryostat and other iter components once again best wishes to the team led by dr bigo and thank you very much thank you thank you so much sir for your kind words of appreciation and enumerating entire journey uh, with us we are now eager to hear what dr bernard bigo has to say dr bernard bigo uh, he is director general of iter organization he is a french physicist and defines himself as technical expert in the nuclear field In July 2003 he was appointed high commissioner for atomic energy a post he held until May 2009 In Jan 2009 he was appointed general administrator of the atomic energy commission by decree of February 20 2009 he is also appointed to the board of directors of Areva NC Since July 2013 he has been chairman of the board of directors of the National School of Electricity and Mechanics in Nancy In November 2014 he was appointed as director general of international research project iter and he continues to hold this position and guides the team he is our guest of honor for today's ceremony thank you sir for connecting digitally with us we would like to hear from you dr bigo over to you distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen dear colleague and friends Good afternoon and greetings from Saint Paul les Grands Cataractes in France on behalf of all of us here at the Eater work site. I am deeply honored to be present even virtually in this distinguished company you already mentioned. I thank you very much all the previous speaker for their kind words explaining exactly what is Eater. Let me nominate a few of them. Dr. Sarasvatsa on the Indian Planning Commission, Mr. Vyas, I always met with great pleasure, Mr. Barwar, 
with who I am working so efficiently on a nearly daily basis, Mr. Naik, uh, who has been a strong and supportive advocate of ITER, and I will always remember our meeting in Paris as well as in Mumbai. Dr. Subravaimanyan, okay, the CEO of Lassen and Tubro, who kindly, during my last visit to India, offered me the unique opportunity to introduce him in person to the beauty and challenge of the heavy engineering, which has been so helpful to Eater on so many occasions. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to participate in this wonderful occasion. I am sorry I cannot be present in person, but I believe we have all learned during the COVID-19 pandemic of the past few months how much can be accomplished using digital tools and virtual collaboration. Eight years ago, in August 2012, an extraordinary project was launched, not worthy for its technological, industrial and human aspect. It was the manufacturing of an unprecedented and unique object the ITER cryostat, designed to support, protect, and insulate an unprecedented and unique machine, the ITER tokamak. The cryostat adventure began that day with a signing ceremony, and I am really pleased to note that today we still have virtually present some of those colleagues and partners who participate in this ceremony. Anil Barwad, the ITER cryostat group leader, and Anil Parab, the Vice President of Larsen and Tubro Heavy and Engineering, who opened the program today. Special congratulations to both of you for an exemplary continuity, illustrating your professional excellence and the total confidence you are granted from many stakeholders in your capacity to deliver on quality and schedule. The ITER project in ITER India we are very fortunate indeed to have Larsen and Tubro as our partner and the primary contractor for cryostat fabrication. As a company with more than 80 years of experience, we knew that Larsen and Tubro has built nuclear plants, shipping airports, and specialized vessels such as giant ocean tankers and submarines. There was never a doubt about the capacity of this company. But even so, the challenge of the cryostat was unique. The individual segment, 54 in total, would be manufactured in the Larsen and Tubro plant in Azira. I had the pleasure to visit and was very impressed by the capacity I discovered. They would then need to be shipped halfway around the globe to the other side in collaboration with the logistic company Daer. Once they were at Eater, in a dedicated cryostat workshop, the system will need to be welded for assembly by the German company Man Energy Solution under Indian supervision and French nuclear regulation on an international work site. This welding had to be perfectly achieved and ultrasonic and radiological tested with precision of half a centimeter while it represents more than 1.4 kilometer long, really an engineering and technology exploit. This illustrates the degree of multinational collaboration associated with the Cryostat project. But the challenge do not stop there. All of the steps taken to create the four major parts, the Cryostat base, the lower cylinder, the upper cylinder, and the cryostat lid must avoid any distortion through temperature, pressure, and handling operation at an unprecedented level of precision. This culminated on the last week of May, one month ago, when the cryostat base, a piece of steel weighing 1,250 tons, 30 meters in diameter, was lifted by overhead crane 40 meters above the ground transported across the ITER assembly hall into the Tokamak building and carefully lowered into the Tokamak pit, eventually positioned with a precision under 3 mm for all contact points. 
as an accomplishment of engineering and global collaboration, this is really amazing, almost hard to believe. So ITER Cryostat will provide structural support for the tokamak. It will act like a thermos to insulate the tokamak system at cryogenic temperature, minus 180 degrees, for the warmth of the outside environment. Designing, manufacturing, delivering, assembling and welding this one-of-a-kind component has proved a huge challenge for everyone involved. At every stage, each new milestone, it has made the ITER projects seem a bit more real. I remember in late December 2015, when the first segment for the cryostat base arrived at ITER, it was a moment of great emotion because finally we could touch the first actual component of the ITER machine was the first milestone of the newly proposed baseline. It's amazed me to know that, okay, Larsen and Tubro first delivery was the first piece of the tokamak on site, and the top lead will be installed at the last S1. So you are from the very beginning to the very end of this adventure. I also remember in July 2019, last year, when we celebrated the cryostat progress in a ceremony here at Cadarache, in which many of you participated and which features the Honorable Anil Kadotkar as our guest speaker. The cryostat base was finished, standing before us, there in the workshop, and the lower cylinder was finalized and stored in its protective cocoon. More recently, just over two months ago, in April, the upper cylinder was completed and moved into its own storage cocoon on the work site, this was also a unique achievement because it's occurred in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, over the past four months, with the pandemics ongoing, all of us have all faced a much greater challenge, whether here in France or there in India or in any of the ITER partner country on the world. I would say that we have been very fortunate at ITER to maintain nearly all our critical activities during these challenging times. This has included the completion delivery of several massive first-of-a-kind components, as it was sold by Dr. Wias. The first original field coils has arrived from Japan and Italy in April. The first vacuum vessel sectors set sail from Korea three days ago uh, on Saturday. And one day earlier, very early last Friday morning, we received on the other side the first complete polyol field coil PF6 manufactured in China under the collaboration with the European Domestic Agency Fusion for Energy. All this has happened without a single COVID-19 infection or transmission on the ITER work site. It is what I call the ITER miracle a testimony to the remarkable dedication and commitment of people working together across the world in pursuit of a common goal, making hydrogen fusion energy feasible in the service of all my human mankind. And so today, in Azira, we celebrate with you the completion of fabrication of all the segments of the cryostat, including more recently the segment of the cryostat leads again achieve under this challenging condition. Without any question, we can say that you, Larsen and Turo, too, are absolutely a core partner and participant in the ITER miracle. I would like to emphasize one final point of achievement. In addition to gendering excellences, the high precision fabrication, the sophisticated welding, and the handling of heavy loads, we never forget the importance of maintaining the highest level of safety. It is a great source of satisfaction that not one single accident has occurred during this process. Our Indian DA colleague, Larsen and Tubo, Man Energy Solution, and HAPAB here at ITER deserve great credit for this aspect. In closing, I would like to express once again, on behalf of the entire ITIF project, 
by admiration and gratitude. The making of the ITER cryostat is a shining illustration of what the ITER international collaboration is about. Committed men and women working to the best of their ability in different parts of the world as one ITER team to meet an ambitious and unprecedented challenge to deliver fusion power as a safe, massive, environmentally sustainable and nearly unlimited source of energy for the future of our civilization. Looking forward, it is clear that many challenges remain, but today it is worth taking this call to consider the importance of its milestone achievement, give us high confidence, working together, we will be able to match the quality, safety, and engineering excellences needed to complete the ITER project. Thanks so much to all of you. I am so pleased to see all of you on the screen. I am a little bit, okay, sorry not to be with you, but be sure that I express from the deep of my heart my highest appreciation and thanks to all of you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, so I can assure you that all of us sitting over here are also greatly pleased to see you on screen and to have your nice words. Uh, on behalf of LNT, we can only say that pandemic or no pandemic, we always live up to the trust our customers have reposed in us and we will continue on that journey. We would now like to hear from our group chairman and Padma Vipushan awardee, Shri A.M. Nayak. Over to you, Nayak, sir. Well, thank you very much. Honorable member of Niti Aayog, Dr. V.K. Saraswat, Director General of ITER Organization, Mr. Bernal Bigot, Chairman AEC, Dr. K. N. Vyas, Dr. A.K. Kakodkar, and instead of taking a long list of naming each one, I will say distinguished guest present today at this historic event. Today is indeed a special day for the global energy industry, especially for the proponent of clean energy. It is a moment of pride for India and the LNT in particular as we have gathered to flag off the last section of the crusaded vessel for the most ambitious clean energy project. Limitless carbon-free energy that will power the future. LNT has always been proud of this global collaborative research to build a greener planet. World's largest vacuum pressure vessel made by 3850, 3850 metric ton, why, where LNT was chosen in, 12, in 2012 by ITER India to manufacture and install cryostate. At the time when we were quoting in 2011 or whatever, this was pursued by Larson Tubro and by me in particular, if you want to call me culprit, as many risk in the project. Construction of large temporary workshop in France within two years of award of contract with gantry crane capacity of 200 metric ton. I was very worried how will we be able to work in France when we have not even dealt with a single, uh, you can say, a French worker. Manufacturing in a temporary workshop for five years under a very difficult French labor laws. Long-term exposure to foreign exchange risk, 
risk associated with funding from many countries, first of its kind of potential chances of technology delays. These were all perceived as a risk. Management bandwidth, I'm talking l and and teams for executing such an enormous project and that too far away from India, which we have never done or had never done. Hence, project was perceived to be too risky. When this was brought to me for clearance to go ahead and bid for this job project, four times I sent the team back as I myself was very much in doubt whether LNT should participate or we can potentially lose a lot of money. But Mr. Kotwal, who is not here, and Mr. Parab, that time a caseworker, continuously pursued with total commitment to the project with devotion, passion, conviction and commitment and at the end I had to give in I had to give in to go ahead and bid the project. I always had until two three years ago still this project on very very closely watchful eyes. I'm very happy today what started with my lot of apprehension is coming to a glorious inning of last eight years and another four or five years to go and participant in the world's unique project. So I must thank once again Param and Kotral who is not here without which it was difficult for anyone to convince me and go ahead with this project. Today I am, as I said, very glad that they convinced me and we went ahead with the project. And I must thank everyone here and those who have retired from their various duties in the last eight years to have encouraged Larson to grow and that all the risks that we had pursued our team, along with all other team, could resolve one by one. So I must thank all of you that we are a part of all of you to really bring this project, hopefully in four years' time, to a successful conclusion and have a unique project which can abundantly give clean energy for greener planet to the world. Thank you very much. You really opened your heart when you said that there were so many embedded risks in this project. Many of the current generation were not aware of it. Uh, but one thing, of course, we can say that when you bet on heavy engineering, uh, we as l and win. Uh, thank you again. We would now like to hear from our chief guest for the ceremony, Dr. V. K. Saraswat. Dr. Saraswat is member of Niti Aayog and former DG DRDO. He is an Indian scientist who formerly served as the Director General of Defence Research and Development Organisation and the Chief Scientific Advisor to the Indian Minister of Defence. He retired on May 31st, 2013 and is presently a member of Niti Aayog also a Chancellor of Jawaharlal Nehru University. Dr. Saraswat is the key scientist in the development of Prithvi missile and its induction in the Indian Armed Forces. Through his illustrious career, Dr. Saraswat has received many awards. DRDO Scientist of the Year Award 87, National Aeronautical Prize 93, DRDO Technology Transfer Award 96, Performance thank you, Madam. Thank you very much. I think you can stop here. 
we we can for we can proceed with the proceedings the nation if you do we have conferred with do me a favor and padma bhushan in 2013 We are grateful to you, sir, for taking out your valuable time and joining with us. We would like to hear from you how you feel about this as a scientist and as a member of Niti Ayo. Over to you, Dr. Saraswat. Good afternoon, and uh, uh, Dr. Bhagat, Dr. Kakodkar, Dr. Vyas, Sri M. Nayak. the architect of uh, larsen and chubro shri subramaniam the cryostat team and all the distinguished participants to this very important ceremony of flagging of the cryostat lid and i am really happy that i am participating in this particular function we all know that the need for alternate sources of energy is the need of the hour as the fossil fuels run out with time and there is rapid increase of the energy needs of developing countries even india's needs of energy are going up and up and up any alternate source should be sustainable for years to come and environmentally benign nuclear fusion has been talked about several years in the past as one such sort of alternate energy india in layman's terms we need to simulate the reactions of the sun on the earth with the gravitational forces of the sun replaced by the magnetic cages to confine and sustain the plasma in a machine called tokamak fusion over the years has come a long way and is now approaching its last stage of experimentation to demonstrate the economic viability by aiming to demonstrate the q factor of 10 in iter a machine under construction in south of france a successful iter will lay the path for building future reactors based on nuclear fusion to produce and supply electric power to the grid this in my view is one of the greatest service which the scientists and engineers of the today's generation can present and would have done for the mankind of the future in keeping their lives lighted in the years to come India at par with other nations in the world pursues responsible environmental policy along with the aspirations for development of the masses the potential of iter in providing the way to an alternative and sustainable energy source is important for us actually this is well reflected with india being a member of the iter collaboration since 2005 such collaboration in line with india's vision helps india to leap from on the skills required to develop such reactors but also to demonstrate its self sustainability in several important areas of fusion research related technologies the event today to celebrate the flag off of the top lid of the christ church today is symbolic in many ways it is not only marks of the nearing of the end of the long eight years of work on the indian soil by our cryostat team towards ensuring that the pieces of this important iter equipment the cryostat are made to the desired quality requirements of this international project within the desired time but also in many ways demonstrates to the world indian expertise in the area of heavy and precision engineering i understand that post flag off further activities will continue at iter site closing the cryostat with full top lid placed and welded thereby making the iter machine ready for its first plasma operations by 2025 it is really impressive to note that the pandemic conditions did not slow down the work in many ways shows the firm commitment of the authors to ensure that iter is built in time and prove feasibility of controlled fusion It is unfortunate that we could not be physically present at the factory site of LNT. Speaking from Delhi, I take this opportunity to congratulate the Cryostat team from Mrs. LNT, ITER India, and ITER organization for their hand-holding, commitment, and perseverance of several years in ensuring this is last piece of engineering marvel takes shape and the last segments of the Cryostat top lid getting ready for its journey to ITER site in France. I am informed that large pieces were made in this very premise and shipped to ITER site for final assembly. Assembly and handing over the base section of the ITER organization is already complete in July 
I am told that it has subsequently been placed in the Tokamak pit on 28th May 2020 and has marked the beginning of the assembly and commissioning of the item machine towards its journey for the past first plasma experimental phase in uh, in the late 2025. Your plans, that is, I am now talking about LNT, engineering and quality control will surely ensure the success of the remaining assembly like the ones you have already completed. This also adds another feather in your crown of world-class excellence in the field of heavy engineering. I attribute your success to the shop floor actors. Mr. Nayak talked about some of the stalwarts like Kotwal and others who have been pioneering this effort. The engineers, your planning and quality control organs and the collective efforts overall. Congratulations to the whole team from LNT on this massive achievement. Your shop is also an important contributor to, to the Indian space, defense and nuclear programs. I also commend the effort of the team in ITER India steering this excellent engineering. A small team from the Institute for Plasma Research, Gandhinagar, ably guided by the experience and knowledge from the experts at NPCIL and IGK, has shown grit in assuming responsibility and living up to the promise to deliver. The coordination from the international team in ITER organization in the France is worthy of its share of praise. Without their concrete cooperation and efforts to progress so far would not have been possible. There have been many auxiliary gains from the program in terms of participation of Indian industries. India's service and the software companies are already active in doing business in ITER. The progress in ITER is closely observed by all around the world as it promises the hope for future energy security with little impact to the environment. I can imagine the effort made by ITER organization towards meeting its most significant goal of first plasma and start of fuel and power operations down the lane. As nations contemplate on future investments in fuels and research, the tangible and intangible outcome from ITER will be closely factored in. Today's event is one smaller step forward to the giant leap later. I, on behalf of Government of India, is totally committed to this project and would like to have a major stake in the ITER program in future, assuring you of our continued support and congratulating Larsen and Tubre, Tubro and other agencies for achieving this major milestone. Wish you all the best in your program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. I think when the man put foot on the moon, it was said one small step for a man and a giant leap for mankind. I think ITER is a project of that magnitude. And uh, thank you for acknowledging the importance of it for our future. This occasion is already memorable. To make it more memorable, we would like to present mementos to some of our guests who are here with us. I would request Sri Vais Trivedi, advisor to the MD and CEO and member of Executive Committee LNT Board, to present a memento to Sri Barua, Project Director, ITER India. We thank you, sir, for making it, and we would like to make it memorable for you. So we are taking utmost care of uh, sanitization. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I now request Shri A.V. Parrap to present a memento to Shri Arun Chakrabarti, Associate Project Director, Eater India. May I invite you to come on the stage, please? Thank you, sir. I would request all those who have connected with us digitally to stay connected we are inviting all our dignitaries to the remote flag of venue. So may I request all the dignitaries now to come forward to the remote flag of venue and flag of uh, the top lid. Uh, Shri Barua to come forward and uh, do the photo coconut breaking and then we have yes uh, all of us spoke about uh, our um, uh, craftsmanship our technicians our workmen so the next one, I would like to request one of our workmen, Sri Dilip, to come forward and do the coconut breaking. Thank you. May I now request Sri Barua to come forward, cut the ribbon and uh, then give flag off. May I request Sri Arun Chakrabarti also to kindly join Dr. Sri Barua.
and here we are showing the green flag and announcing the movement for the final sectors we will just wait for the vehicle to move a little bit Shri P K Bhat, General Manager and Head Nuclear B U, to propose vote of thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to express vote of thanks to such a distinguished guest. On behalf of my team, I can say that this is movement of our life, a dream come true for all of us. First of all, I like to express my gratitude to Dr. Saraswat for taking this precious time and consenting to be the chief guest. Sir, your presence and kind words means a lot to team. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. I like to convey my sincere thanks to Dr. Bigo for accepting our invitation for virtual flag off. In fact, he wanted to attend it in person but could not make it because of unprecedented situation. Sir. Under your leadership, ITER program has seen many milestones and we are confident as a team that we will reach the milestone of first plasma by 2025. Thank you, sir. I express my gratitude to see S.K. Sarma, sir, for making it possible to attend this ceremony. Sir, under your leadership, Indian nuclear program is seeing new high. I am extremely thankful to Sri Ken Vyas, sir, Chairman, Atomic Energy Commission, for gracing the occasion with his presence and guidance. Thank you, sir, for your kind words and appreciation. Sir, you always supported the ITER team and motivated them time to time. My sincere thanks to our own AMN, sir, SNS, sir, and YST, sir, for always providing guidance and support. AMN, sir, it's your vision that motivates LNTI to do such a first step kind project, which is a global benchmark. Sir, under your leadership, we will keep on doing things which make India proud. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I also like to express my gratitude to Dr. R.B. Grower, member AC chairman, Dr. Nageshwar Rao, chairman ARB, Dr. Chaturvedi, director IPR, Professor Desh Pandey, Mrs. Ruby Sirvasto, Mr. A.K. Balasumaniam, LNT board member, Mr. S.N. Roy, Mr. M.V. Satish, Mr. J.D. Patil, heavy engineering board members, Mr. Adi, Janul Bhai, Mr. Purva, Mr. Arup Chahan, and all other distinguished guests for making possible to grace the occasion. I take this opportunity to thank Dr. Barua and the ITER team for providing this opportunity to LNT team. We jointly worked out this program. Sir, today's achievement is result of joint effort between LNT and ITER India. I like to congratulate and thank you all the project team members, our business partner, our workmen who have put their tremendous efforts to achieve this success. Lastly, I convey my sincere thanks to Organizing Committee, Corporate Communication of ITER India, ITER Organization, and Lars and Tubro, and all the participants for making this event memorable. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And with this, we are ending the program on time, which is new normal for nuclear industry, at least where LNT is participating. Thank you. Thank you very much. So with this, we are closing the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.